I can't even see. Jesus. Ew. Quarantine cut. It's coming. I, I swear. I can't take it anymore. It's been a while since we had a real conversation, so I wanted to sit down, strip everything back. So this video is going to be Jesse's therapy, which this has always been that, you know? All the series that I've made over the years has really been about me just venting to y'all in story format. But I understand there's a lot of confusion. It's a crazy time, and it's halfway through the year. Which, if we check back the innocent end of the year video, I, I, this, the 2020s are going to be chill. I'll miss you 2010s. I'll miss you dearly. But it's time to talk about 2020. Where I talk about the year of the Phoenix. I knew this year would be wild. I just, well, I was half expecting some superpowered disease and some end of the world stuff back in the fall. And I knew it was coming. So what's going to happen is bacteria strains are going to mutate more. And we're going to have some superpowered diseases. We've been very fortunate to not have some crazy diseases now. But we're going to get those. Um, we're gonna get, with that climate change, we're gonna get superpowered thunderstorms, we're gonna get hurricanes, I mean, LA's been, we're on fire. What happened just yeah. today, yesterday, was it? Evacuated 50,000 people. Mm -hmm. 50,000 people. That, yeah. And this is all happening, and like, when you look at the macro level, I mean, people's just so much in their bubbles, that like, they don't realize all the signs that are happening, and they're like, everything's fine. I can still get water out my spigot. I can still go to the grocery store and get my shit, but like, you have no clue what's happening right now on top of this we have political and social unrest also we're gonna have the biggest economic collapse i think since like the great depression we have so much inflated bull pumping the economy right now we're literally on fumes like what the stock market has done over the last like since 2008 has been ridiculously unsustainable bet you guys never saw that one before i think there's a lot we're not really seeing some things right in our very noses Sorry about that, guys. I think it's safe to talk now. Um, I've gone back and forth between shooting, reshooting this video, and I really contemplated even uh, divulging any of this information with you. Um, I don't think any of this is real. <laughs> I, I think it's all. I don't. I don't know. It's scary for me to say this, but I think things are a simulation. I, re I really believe that. I think the world we're living in is false and that we are failing to see the truth of what's really going on here. I'm pretty confident I've seen it. I have years of footage like that behind the scenes. I've seen things, I know things. I just feel like I'm missing certain parts and I maybe, I, I wanted to do this video because maybe you guys can help fill in the gaps for me. I keep hearing things. Um, I wanted to do this video to really talk to you guys genuinely. Um, I'm, I'm just happy to, to genuinely have a conversation with y'all. Ashley and I have been running through the old series, like My Virtual Escape, and I, we are too distracted to see the light. I know I've been pretty distracted and preoccupied with one of the lights, and that's Story Fire. Look, sorry if I'm all over the place. I know the last couple years has been crazy. You know, it's start, stop, start, stop. I'm like doing this mini series and this series, and then all of a sudden I'm this. Uh, I'm jumping from YouTube to Story Fire, done, not done. I'm just trying to find the truth in it all, you know? Before we get any deeper into this, I just wanna say thank you guys. By the time this video comes out, we were right around four million subscribers, so this, let's just count this as my celebration. Let's freaking go. I believe uh, me and my dad had promised we're gonna go skydiving and he's gonna get a tattoo. I don't know if any of that's gonna happen because of what's happening right now with COVID-19. I've had this I'm a psychopath tattoo for so many years and like the dude, my dad needs to get it. I don't know about skydiving though. That sounds a little, per that's pretty extreme. We already got enough things that uh, are potentially life threatening right now. I don't know if I wanna willingly jump out of an airplane. This four millionth sub milestone means a great deal, because I've been stuck from on the three millions for, shoot, honestly, four years. When the Psycho series ended, I had just hit three mil subs. So this whole last four years has felt like me getting my first million subscribers, which took like nine years. So I, I really got to thank y'all for, for doing this. I know it's nothing probably I've done recently, but... Um, just all the content I've done over the years, building up and people watching, going back and enjoying the series. Seriously, that, that really means the world. So thank you guys so much for hitting 4 million. I'm pretty confident that it'll probably be the last sub milestone I'll hit because I'm about to be going all into story fire. I know you heard it before, but I want to talk about like, some of you guys are wondering where all the creative series are. Where, where's all that good stuff? You know, Sega series, MVE, Devil Inside. I want to see more of that. 
Unfortunately, my biggest plans for this year was the Storyfire Office series, where we locked down a space and I hired a bunch of people to work for Storyfire. Unfortunately, this virus hit and we had to shut down the physical office. There are no plans to actually go back into the office. I believe uh, the virus, better yet, I know that this virus is gonna be with us for years. It's going to get a lot worse than it already is, and unfortunately, that is just reality. So it's been tough, I can't see people. But yeah, it's been hard to film many videos because it's just me. I just can't film with the people I normally film with because there's a your risk that you could get infected. You don't know. But I want to tell you guys, we are going to get back to regular content. Um, why I haven't been is we are prepping for one of the biggest, actually the biggest ever uh, marketing push on Storyfire. Some of the largest creators. We're going to be giving away tens of thousands of dollars to you guys. And we're going to have new awesome features coming in the next few months. So starting in July, you're going to see some massive influencers joining Storyfire. Uh, we're going to give away $10,000 to one lucky person who downloads the app and rates us five star. We're also going to be giving probably another $14,000 every other day. We're going to be giving one person $1,000 who's active on the social feed. I'll be explaining all those details once we get closer, but get hype, guys. Legit, we're going to we're gonna be in the millions of users at the next month. This is the first time we've ever done this. For the last few years, we've just been building the product. And now it's finally time for gasoline blast off the year of the Phoenix. Ah! <laughs> That was what I imagined would be, you know, the eagle doused in fire. It was majestic, but then at the same time, uh, writhing in pain and agony. But yeah, a lot of my time has just been spent on the business side of Storyfire, getting all those things ready. Brian and I have been working around the clock to ensure that this thing goes smoothly and that everything's in place and you guys have an awesome experience for this huge run. Legit, the last three to four years of Storyfire has led us to this July, which will be the three year anniversary since Storyfire actually came out on the iOS device. So we're super stoked. Hopefully you guys are too. And you can always download that in the description below. So while I not only have been so focused on the business side of things, I've also been doing some finance videos on my Jesse Tyler Ridgeway channel. You can subscribe to that. I'm giving away $5,000 when we hit 100K subscribers. Did some great cost breakdowns, some really cool stuff on there. Uh, we did one of the Psycho Series MVE. I've also been doing a bunch of TikToks, believe it or not. Um, you can follow me at Jesse Tyler Ridgeway. That's been a lot of fun. Ashley and I have been doing some crazy stuff on there. We've also been rehashing some old stuff, but doing it in like a greatest hits kind of format, which is sick. Other things, other things going on. Um, if you guys trust me and are down for like, yo, Jess, you know I'm an OG juggy. I've been watching you for years. Honestly, whatever you're passionate about, whatever you want to do, I'll follow and watch that. If you guys, if that's your answer, Y'all gonna make me squirt out a tear. I love you guys for that, and that would mean the world, and that would give me the kind of creative freedom to really think about what I would want to make, what can I make given the time that I have, and really crush it. None of this is real. Look, I don't want to... I'm just struggling to understand how everything that's happening in the universe right now is real. Things are just not adding up. You ever feel like you're a prisoner? in your own life, that all of this, all, all of what we're experiencing is just like playing out in some like alien's head or like we're all this crazy show for extraterrestrials to watch and laugh at. You understand what I'm saying? I encourage everybody, help me put the pieces together. Help me make sense of all this. I feel I'm tapped in more than most, but there's a bigger picture going on here and I fail to be just a cog in its machine. And that's what Storyfire is trying to do, guys. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just going with the flow, but I swear to God, there's a freaking, somebody's deciding where the flow goes. And I think you can predict what it is and where it's going. I think you can, I think, I think you can step outside of the current. I think you could step outside of the flow of things and see things for what they really are. If you're in the river, I feel like you can actually get out of the river and see the river as just a river. And it's up to you if you want to go back in or not. I wish I could be more creative right now, my friends. Uh, I've just been very business oriented. However, I'm going to get back to regular content. 
Um, a lot of uh, YouTube and Storyfire content, which guys reminds me, if you want to see a super chill vlog, go check out Storyfire right now. Ashley and I snuck into my parents' pool. That was a lot of fun. It's super real, super genuine, so if you like that sort of thing, go check it out. Links are in the description. You're going to see a lot of part one, part two videos, YouTube to Storyfire, and then eventually, after the marketing push, it's probably going to be mostly all Storyfire. And potentially I'll give the channel back to my dad. I really didn't expect to, to be back here. Um, it's been cool. Missed you guys. Hope to see you on the fire though. You guys have been killing it, not only with Blaze, but all you guys go growing your following. You guys getting massive followers, freaking writing stories, earning some cash through the social feed. All the story fire peeps, y'all crushing. I love you guys. Uh, I'm gonna get back to work. Before I go, I hate putting this out there publicly. Maybe I'll start to share some uh, some of my more personal thoughts on Storyfire social feed. Make sure you go follow me there. In the meantime, if you want to help me break through the universe, if you want to punch through it, let me know in the comments below if you're tired, if you don't want to play the game anymore. Because I'm ready. I'm ready to transcend into what's next. I've been purposely avoiding showing you what I'm talking about and even talking about it publicly because it's just not smart to talk publicly because you don't know who was watching, ever. The second you blast it onto the internet, Google and data and all these things harvesting our information for what purpose? The second I tell you guys anything more, I reveal all my cards and that is not a very wise decision. So just give me a little symbol in the Comments below if you know what I'm talking about and you want more. I'll make an exception. All right, guys. Love you guys to death. And don't forget to keep it rigid and stay lit. And the truth will set us free, my friends. I forgot to add, if I haven't said in a while, thank you guys for everything. Oh, and I found this mirror.